Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. Today I had an awesome consultation with a student. She was looking for some pretty difficult to find information. Basically she was looking for, I gotta read it off here. She's looking for small companies with less than 75 employees with less than seven years of operation that are located in specific counties in Ohio that do manufacturing in a particular or, or in a particular kind of business uh, in, in local areas in Ohio. So the immediate database that came to mind was a database called Merge and Intellect, which is a great tool to use if you need to screen for specific company criteria uh, and get a list of companies in your area. So this video shows you how to do that because I thought it was such a cool question that I really wanted to share with you guys how to do that. So here you go. So this is the Merge and Intellect homepage. And Merge and Intellect is basically like a big phone book that contains just company information. So if we want to go and just search by company for a particular company name, we could do that here. For the purposes of our search, we're actually going to do the advanced search feature down here, which is going to allow us to screen or, or to search for custom criteria for our, uh, for our companies. The easiest way to begin our search is to search by location. And for that search, we're going to search by county. That's what the, the student was originally asking for was counties in Ohio. So we'll do USA here and then search for Ohio. And it's going to give us a list of counties. And for my example, I'm just going to choose Muskingum County as my example. And once you have one selected, you get out here and click Add to Criteria. And then it's going to populate how many companies that are in Mergent Intellect in Muskingum County. And in this case, it finds over 11,000 companies in Muskingum County uh, that are in Mergent Intellect. The next thing we're going to do is look for the size of the company by employees. We're going to go and click on size and we'll do employment and we'll say she wanted uh, smaller companies that have less than 75 employees. So we will do that, add to criteria and you can see this only got rid of like 100 companies. So that's not really a great way to screen. What we can also do is now we're going to go and limit by industry. So this will give us a little more granular search here. So if we click on industry. I generally prefer to start with the NAICS code. The NAICS codes are newer. Uh, this is the way of industries are classified by uh, particular codes here. And if we look at manufacturing, we see uh, this is kind of more kind of traditional manufacturing. Um, if we go and look at um, things like this, we see there's chemical manufacturing, plastics. I'm just going to choose a, a section within here. Uh, it looks like uh, they're doing a lot of computer equipment and metal manufacturing and that kind of stuff in this category. You can drill down further if you like. So if you're just looking for uh, computer and electronic equipment, you can do that. I'm just going to choose 3.3 right here. And then I'm also going to look at, uh, just choose another industry. We'll choose the information industry because this will contain things like internet publishing, telecommunications, uh, search providers, web portals, data processing, all that kind of stuff. So kind of some high tech areas in there. So we're going to click on that right there and add a criteria and watch our number here. Our number is going to go from 11,600 down to 269. So that's a lot more manageable uh, for that for that area. The download limit in Merge and Intellect is about 2,000 companies. So we can't get like 12,000 companies and then do a search. Um, and try to download all those companies. So we want to make sure we, we get a manageable set and 269 is, is definitely appropriate. So what we're gonna do is click on all right here. If we just click on the download right here or export, we're just gonna get this list here. And I want some more extensive information than that. So I'm gonna click on all and I'm gonna go up here and click build files. This takes us to uh, this screen and you can see all these sections are actually checked by default. I don't really want all that data, so I'm going to actually click on Choose Fields, which will allow me to go in and choose which fields I want. Obviously, I want company name. Uh, I want their website address if it's listed in here. Uh, I want their physical address. I also want their uh, NAICS code, their primary SIC code, and the description, because I want to know what kind of business they are in. And we're just looking at the primary, the, 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 what they're primarily engaged in. I'm also going to go in and look at, um, here's our year of founding, because part of our question was the student wanted to know uh, companies that were founded in the last seven years. And I want to know if the company is a subsidiary of another company, and also if they are a subsidiary, who the parent is. Finally, it'd also be a good idea to do, do uh, the size. So we'll do the for sales, and let's do how many employees that they have at that current location. 
Once we're satisfied with that, we can go down and click on, uh, we have to enter a file name here. So I'm just going to call this uh, Chad's, uh, let's call it Chad Muskingum. And we will build our files. You can either email it to yourself or download your file. I'm just going to click download here. And this opens up, and if we just click on the Excel file here, it's going to open up in Excel. We can look at it within Excel. So I'm going to enable editing here so I can do some sorting. And what this allows you to do, you can see these companies, you're, they look kind of random here, but if we scroll over and look at sales, we can see that the companies are indeed sorted by sales. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do is the, the original uh, question was to find companies by industry that are less than seven years old. Now we can't screen for year of founding, but what we can do once we have our, our list here, and that's one reason I want to make sure we have the year of founding in our, in our, in our list of, that we're building, is we can go and now do data, and we can sort it, and we can sort by year of founding, and then largest to smallest, and then what do you know? In our list here, now we have the companies that were founded uh, by year of founding, and that's a good way that we can identify companies by industry within the past, you know, seven to ten years, founded in the past seventy years, seven to ten years, by location in a particular area. So hopefully this video showed you how you can use Mergent Intellect to do some really cool stuff and get really granular and get some really good information about companies by industry, by location. Uh, with less than seven years of operation, with less than 75 employees. You can get all kinds of crazy stuff like that in Merge Intellect. Should you need more help about, it, about Merge Intellect or any other database, look for the contact link on the business blog. I've got to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.